everybody, it's Kim from GetGreenBeWell.com. Have you ever wondered what's actually lurking in the dust that's gathering all throughout your house? Or are you really concerned about what types of chemicals might be in the air that you're breathing inside? Well, I'm about to show you a fabulous test kit that you can do at home. It's super simple. It is from Home Air Check and it actually will do your surface dust test and it does an indoor VOC test. Now this test was done at my old home right before we moved and it was something that we did because we were really concerned about the air quality and what might be lurking in there. As you'll see, I will give you the results from that home uh, towards the end of the video and you can see why we would have been so concerned. So that just to give you a little heads up, this is what happened in our old home. It's exactly how we tested the air and the dust and then we ended up moving to a new home that's much healthier. Thank God for that. Um, but we just wanna give you an idea of what the test kit is like. So here we go and see how you can test your dust and your indoor air. All right, so now we're gonna be doing the VOC home test and that is done with this little piece of equipment that they send you. It is a rental, so you send this back. Um, and then we'll be following the instructions. You get a test tube, which is what is gonna be testing the air quality inside your home. And so you take off the cap and then you're gonna have this glass vial and also a glass vial uh, remaining, which is what you're gonna send the sample back with. So we'll keep that for later. Okay, so you're gonna remove these red caps. We've already kind of twisted them off because they were stuck on pretty tight. So then got that. And then this one. All right, so what you have left is this glass tube and you will see that there is an arrow that is located on that. At this point, we're going to put this tube onto this machine and that's how it's going to be pulling the air in uh, for testing. So it says, da, 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 um, arrow, insert the sample tube about a quarter of an inch into the small, okay. So what we're gonna be doing is putting this tube into this part of the machine about a quarter of an inch. You want it to stay, but all right. And then at this point, we're just going to turn it on and let it sit for two hours. And that's pretty much all there is to it, except for taking the tube back off and putting the caps on. And turning it on, so you should hear a little bit of noise and the green light. So this is the surface dust sampling procedure and has a lot of, um, instructions on it, but really it's this simple, is that you're given this slide, and then this is a sticky part. So you peel that off, and you don't need that anymore. What they want is for you to take an example of dust that's been about two weeks old, and this is clearly um, in an area where we've been letting it accumulate. So just turn it over, and it's not that you press hard, but they want you to um, just kind of gently tap and I'm gonna tap a couple times, just because it's gross. But, and then you can see, see that right there. So the dust is gonna be sent to the lab and they will analyze it and I will share the results. So my surface dust results showed two that were very high, skin cell fragments and fabric fibers. So that is what is in the dust and then out of the total volatile organic compounds, the total VOCs, you can see that red um, highlight that says severe. That means that the air quality is pretty bad. And as you can see, it says personal care products, alcohol products. This might be because the bathroom was adjacent to the bedroom. We don't think that we sprayed any hairspray before we did the test, but it might just be something that is lingering in the air and it's showing up on the test results. Now you're seeing some other categories. We had paints that were moderate, which is bizarre since we've never painted the inside of the rental home that we were in. And then it goes on to other categories as well, adhesives and gasoline, all of these were showing normal. Um, and then we're going into the active mold level and that says active to moderate. So we expected it to be way higher than that, but it still shows that something is going on. 
So as you can see, all of the dust and the indoor air actually did end up having some elevated levels of some pretty nasty stuff that we probably wouldn't want to have been inhaling um, had we lived in the home. We would have been remediating that through air filters and um, some improvements to the home and uh, ventilation system, but like I said, we ended up moving, so those repairs did not have to be happen. Uh, did not have to happen. If you are concerned about what's going on in your indoor air, I do highly suggest this test, and I will put a link below so that you can get one of those. Also, I have something else that is great as far as testing your indoor air. It is something that will measure it on a day-to-day -day basis, and it will tell you if the concentrations of VOCs or other particulates like dust and pollen are getting high or not. It won't go into great detail as to what they are like this test does. I'm going to link to a video about that above. I'm also going to put that in the comments below, so be sure to check out that monitor as well. I think both of these work great in tandem. One gives you a really in-depth version of what might be the problem in your indoor air, like you just saw, so you can work on specific chemicals and specific aspects. And the other one is going to give you a day-to-day -day reading to let you know if there are high problems of pollution that you should be aware of or not, and to then go investigate further. So be sure to check out those links in the comments below. Let me know if you, this helped you um, in the comments below. And if you've ever done any of these tests, uh, let us know if you were really surprised by the results or if you just wish that you could have something done like this so that you would know once and for all. Until next time, everybody, take care and be blessed. Bye-bye.